about what the training was for you to go through to be a support group leader. I went through my training with the Alzheimer's Association, and at that time there was only the Alzheimer's Association to do training. Now there is another group called the Alzheimer's Greater Los Angeles that also will train you. Some of the training is done online, so you can take courses online and learn the very basics to, from the very basics to the very, you know, end of the disease and how to handle your um, support group members through that. They teach you what Alzheimer's is, uh, understanding that people think that a lot of times senility is the same thing as dementia. It's not. So you go through a clinical kind of information where you can, someone asks you what is Alzheimer's, you should be able to answer that question. They also teach you a little bit about how to handle the emotions that are involved with people who are coming to grips with this disease. And they also um, kind of give you some interesting um, ideas on how to actually lead the support group so that you're not the only one talking, that you can encourage other people to talk, but at the same time everybody gets a turn. Mm -hmm. So it's a big mosh pit, a big huge amount of information you learn in the course of the studies. And then they throw you out, <laughs> throw you out and let you go. Okay. Yeah. And then you can go back for additional training if you want to. Mm -hmm. None of it is mm -hmm. mandatory, but I try to do that, either take it online or go to another course every once in a while, because they mm -hmm. do change. Mm -hmm. That's good. So um, it's not required, but you do get extra learning Absolutely. to add, add Both to groups have amazing online courses, webinars that come up, and if you get onto their email list, they pop you off an email. You know, we've got a class. It may not be close to you, so you don't go, but then it might be, you know, just uh, down the valley and you can go. Okay. But they post all of them so that you know what's available to you. That's great. On, on both sites, really. Absolutely. Both groups. Uh, so how many support groups do we have here in Santa Clarita? We currently have five. Uh, we used to have only one, but uh, as of right now, because of the need, and the need keeps growing, we have, at our support group, we were getting between 20 and 25 people, with, which is really way too much. A good number of people for a support group is about a dozen. Mm -hmm. So um, we were excited to add support groups. And so now we have about five, a couple more that meet in the evening and a couple more that meet during the day. Some people work and they can't make one or the other. We have a couple of people in our support group who like to go to more than one a month, mm -hmm. and now they can. That's, that's wonderful.